Hi everyone. Well, today I wanted to talk about uh, toxic people and how they affect your life. Narcissistic, um, more specifically. Okay. So, uh, I was uh, raised by a narcissistic uh, grandmother and uh, also my mother has a lot of narcissistic traits because of being raised by a narcissistic mother and um, my grandfather, my uncle is also a narcissist and um, that he was always living with us, okay? But not for too long, but then he got his own house as soon as he could. And um, my grandfather, it was really manipulated by my narcissistic grandmother. And sometimes I may ha also had some narcissistic traits. So, I wanted to tell how um, we can uh, identify the right flags because of my experience, okay? So, my grandmother uh, had this uh, need to feel better than everyone else around her. She was the most narcissistic, so I will take her as an example. She also used to do black magic. So most of the narcissistic people, I mean the heavily narcissistic ones, because we as a person, as a, um, a human, uh, we can develop some narcissistic traits, okay? But um, we can also improve that. But when you are a truly heavily narcissistic person, uh, the difference is that you really lack empathy. Uh, not because just like empathy, but you develop an, an evil side. And also, um, you narcissistic people normally are people that really, really suffered um, some heavy stuff when they grew up, but they didn't learn anything from it. So they started to develop the, the same uh, toxic behaviors they uh, received from their parents, their uh, friends, whatever, uh, and they become worse. Yeah, they become worse than that. So, my grandmother used to really try to um, say things like, uh, you don't do anything, you never help me, trying to feel, make me feel really guilty. Um, she really tried to, to uh, put... Um, I, I remember she did one thing that really pissed, pissed me off. That was... Uh, I was doing anything, like when I was in the kitchen, because uh, most of the time I was uh, with, in my bedroom with the door closed, because I really felt she was always... I mean, always uh, observing and following me around. Uh, and that really was uh, annoying. And uh, when I was in the kitchen, she used to come from the other side of the house, uh, the living room, to uh, start to criticize me for what I, how I was doing uh, food, my meal, uh, how I was cleaning the, the dishes, you know. Always try to find something to complain about something to um, criticize about so and uh, because she and the demons she she feeds was they were fed by um, anger you know so she always tried to find something to um, irritate me or irritate the other members of the families my mother was also, she did everything to blow her off. So she, she pushed, 
us to the limit of dis disrespectfulness, you know? Like, she really, um, when we said, like, uh, why, are you, why are you doing it? Let me do the, the thing. Let me, oh, you all don't want to learn. You don't want to, I want to do it my own way. Can I do it my own way? And then she started to insult, insult us, like, uh, you are a dumb, you are, you know, and this, this is the most um, toxic behavior because she needed to feel that she was better than the other person. So she said, like, uh, I do things uh, right, you, you, you don't know how to do this, and, um, you know, everything for her, she was always right. And when we try to say like uh, you are you are hurting my feelings or you are doing you are disrespecting me and uh, she tried to to change this, to shift the situation around and saying like oh um, you did this to me and brought the pass up you know like something that you when you were irritated or you said something bad you know and to try to shift the perspective so she didn't uh, uh, be responsible for what she said or what she did to cause that reaction so this is this kind kind of people they they won't uh, they can't stand to see you when they can't stand to see you happy. They can't stand to see you in peace. They will do anything they have in their power to make you feel miserable. If you are not miserable, they will do whatever it takes to make you get into that state because they are already miserable. They feel miserable inside. They usually, they're not happy. I, I don't remember to see my grandmother laugh like uh, just for laughing. She always laughed of, over something that somebody did wrong or over something, uh, you know, um, when she was mean to someone or when she was criticizing because she only could feel happy for seeing some somebody um, worse than her, you know? And so I got tested by the universe because I had a little, uh, a lot of anger inside of me because of that, that kind of behavior my grandmother had. Uh, and when you are going to a, through a self-development self um, journey, you will be tested, you know? So if you really now recognize all the red flags so you can uh, realize if you are going to do the same mistakes as you did in the past, because when you are in a self-development or a self-worth worth journey, you do um, some agreements with yourself, you know? I don't want to have more toxic um people surrounding me i i just uh, i set i set myself as uh, set myself apart from my family because they were really toxic to me they didn't res respect me they were always judging me and criticizing me for who i am so i i decided for my own sake to um stay away from them and uh, no matter how hardships I will face or I have to face, now I can tell that I really feel in peace with myself because I'm, I am respecting myself by doing that choice. So, um, universe just bought me a t brought me a test. There was this man, he was a really handsome man that came to me uh, and I'm uh, currently living in the streets and I was in the, in the mall um, charging my phone uh, and uh, he stopped in front of me asked me if I had dinner I said I didn't 
if you want he, he told me uh, you will pay for my dinner and I okay I look at him try to felt if he was um, trustworthy or not to and I said yes and I did I go I go I went with him well he was really respectful and stuff you no know, he didn't try to you know uh, you know what a man can do to him and yeah <laughs> But uh, no, it was really respectful, and uh, yeah. And then, um, yeah, I paid for my dinner. He helped me carry the bags until close to a place where I was sleeping. And um, after that, um, we he said he was lonely. He needed some company, whatever. Uh, it was just friendships and uh, whatever, and I said, okay. But the first red flag, I was telling him that I'm here. I was in streets, but I'm always guided by my spirit guides, and I have a strong connection with the divine. And uh, he was just saying, like, uh, that doesn't exist, that is bullshit. Uh, you religion is uh, adultery and uh, that that's there's a lot of bunch of lies whatever and i was saying like that's the best way and i was saying like uh well i'm sa i'm sharing with you who i am and what i feel and uh, i i understand that you don't experience of life you don't uh, believe it that's okay but saying that is a bullshit that I am um, naive by thinking of, about that only I know my experience so I don't admit that you disrespect me by saying that and uh, when I say this I said this he was really um, trying to excuse himself uh, because it's not what he meant, whatever, uh, but yeah, something just popped up in that moment. After that, uh, we met uh, like three times, uh, maybe, and the negativity, the negativity behaviors were really heavy, just really heavy. We had some fights again. I usually don't fight. I usually don't scream. I usually don't um, lose my temper so easily. And I was asking myself why this, this really looks like my grandmother's behavior. Because anytime that I confronted him like uh, with something like you're being disrespectful to me by saying that in that in that uh, way, you know. You really are disrespecting me by um, uh, broadening this situation up just to make me feel bad about how I feel and how I see things. If you do think, see things differently, that's okay. I won't judge you for that. I will respect you, but I don't admit that you start to say like it's bullshit, it's fuck, whatever, you know, that bad words to try to manipulate me. And you say, I am not trying to manipulate you, but I feel the energy, you know. I feel the energy. He didn't know, but I <laughs> I said I feel the energy. You're trying to manipulate me. And you tried all also to say was um, that I was, you know, um, misunderstanding, whatever, whatever. So it really helped me and uh, gave me food, gave me things that I really need by living in the streets. But I said, my peace, my peace, it's much more valuable than having this kind of uh, energy surrounding me. And last time we were together, 
I could feel the energy of evil. And I mean, black magic, you know? And uh, it really started to, to put it itself, anything. Everything was uh, like a puzzle, just got clear. And um, it was time to use, it was using black magic to try to manipulate me, you know. And uh, we had another fight. This time it was the, the fight where I really, really started to scream. And, uh, and I said, if it is to do, if, if it is, I, I went through, I've been spending years, years of my life to develop my, um, another view of life. To view life in a more positive way. To deconstruct all the negativity that was going, uh, surrounding my life. And if, uh, I don't want this. I don't want this negativity. I don't want this, uh, this kind of behaviors. I don't want this judgment, judgmental thoughts. Um, I don't want that. If it is for this, I don't want this in my life now. I, I'd rather be alone. I'd rather be by myself. And so, he was really pissed, you know, like he, he realized that he couldn't control me as he thought he could. And he had this pattern of looking, searching for vulnerable people that he could control and he could drain energy out of. So I was a surprise for him. He wasn't expecting that. So, but it was my inspiration to this video, to share my story, to share this situation particularly, and, um, and to tell you that no matter how, no matter how hard, no matter how difficult the situation is, if you put your life, if you deliver your life, your time, your energy to a person that is a energy vampire, a narcissistic person, you will go to a worst situation that you are in now. So be aware, be careful, If you trust God, if you trust that He really um, is present in your life, as I do, I really do believe God will put the the the, per, the people, the right people, in front of you at the right time when you are ready to receive the people in your life that can help you. But it's a, a genuine help, not a, a help. Uh, based on how, what they can get from you, what they can uh, drain out of you. And uh, it's really important to make these wise decisions, especially when it comes to a narcissistic person, because it really, really, really can ruin your self-esteem, your self-confidence, make you just twist your self-worth and make you feel really bad about yourself and that damage he will take years years to rebuild so that's that is a message i wanted to share thank you very much for watching